Hey folks, this is Sound Snake Studio. Today we're answering the question, can you run Steinberg DSP on an Android device using Winulator for a live show? Now we go over to Steinberg's website here first. I'm on a, a Samsung from a couple years ago. It's a, uh, I think S10. Okay, so we go ahead and download this program for Windows with all the drivers and um, goodies in there that we need to run it. And then we go over to Winulator. We want to download it from the GitHub page because the GitHub, you have to sideload it. The Winulator.com page takes you to Google Play Store, which is no longer active. They won't host it. Um, then you have to hit on GitHub releases under the installation section of the page and then you go over to assets and you just double click the APK. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to download this file over and over again and it's going to do tricky things to try to not get, get you to not download the file because it's like not a Google Play approved app and so um, because of that you know download at your own risk but um I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'm not sure if this is going to work, hence the title being a question. So, uh, but when I heard about Winulator, I had an idea that maybe this could work, because prior, I think you could only run this DSP thing on an iOS device, or maybe just on Mac and Windows, but not an Android, so it would be really easy to boot up your phone or whatever at a show. So now we're in the container mode. We're going to put it on 610 because that's the ratio of my screen. And then I'm going to put it in dark mode because it's easier on my eyes. But it looks more like Windows in light mode. If you want it to have more of a Windows feel, keep it in light mode. And we'll start up this uh, container here. Once we run the container, we have like a Windows emulation. Okay, drive D is gonna be our drive. It's gonna go directly to our downloads folder in our phone unless we change that in the root when we set the container up. But um, for now it's default. So the mouse, you can touch anywhere on the screen and move around and then the mouse moves. So this is zipped. So we're gonna have to basically open seven zip up. And um, here we go. So we're just gonna go through the same directory into D and into the downloads. And then we're gonna go to uh, our downloaded files that we downloaded from the Chrome browser in the Android portion of the app. Now, if you need to download any files or something, the internet browser is kind of wonky on this. So you can just, you still have all the other apps open. You can just, minimize this and go to the other window with your browser up in Android and download stuff and then access it in this. And that seems to be easier than trying to use the built-in quote-unquote Internet Explorer browser. So you just go ahead and go to the extracted files and uh, run this install. Oh, the program doesn't support the version of Windows you're running on. It looks like we can't run this DSP on Winulator, unfortunately. So, sorry, Steinberg users, you're gonna be uh, SOL in this department. If anybody knows a way that we can run the DSPX software that Steinberg has on an Android device, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd be very interested. Thank you. And please like and subscribe for more experiments we're gonna run soon. I promise not all of them will turn out to not work.